Hey developers, so today we're looking at the brand new Tailwind CSS 2. All right, so this is just recently released as of today, November 18th, the Tailwind CSS version two came out. It has some really cool features. So I'm gonna do a quick reaction to their Tailwind CSS announcement video. And we're gonna take a look at some of the features using the Tailwind Playground. So make sure you stay all the way to the end and you can learn all about it. Hey, and if you don't know, my name is Eric. I'm a full stack software developer, blah, 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 blah. Anyways, so Tailwind CSS is a utility first CSS framework packed with classes like Flex, PT4, Tech Center. So it's a different way of creating uh, apps using Tailwind. Instead of creating all these classes, you just put these little utility classes in everywhere. And uh, you know, for quick creating sites very quickly, this is really powerful. All right, so let's just jump into this Tailwind CSS video and I'll do a little bit of a uh, commentary versus, uh, while we watch it. So, and I'll make sure there's links down below if you guys wanna watch it. It's a little loud. Responsive everything. Extend it, tweak it, change it. Build whatever you want, seriously. I will give it to Adam Wathen and his team that this is a pretty high quality trailer. So, yeah. So yeah, that's one really cool thing. They added in more colors, so that's, that's really cool. More grays. This is a really cool feature. Now you can use at apply with everything. Before you had it, if you're doing like hovers or focuses, you had to create multiple, um, multiple classes if you were trying to kind of abstract things out using apply. And now you can do everything in the apply, which is a cool feature that was added recently. Yeah, see the hover. Two times break point. And finally. <laughs> dark mode. I think this is kind of an interesting thing. Now you can do dark mode. I think a lot of people are asking for this, uh, but now it's possible. Like kudos to them to build that video. I mean, that's pretty funny uh, that, that they were able to create that, but it does, you know, I, I'm excited to try it out because I'm a big Tailwind fan. All right, so uh, here's some of the, here's all the features they talked about. And so one big thing keep in mind as we go through this is that now there is definitely an incompatibility with IE 11. So if you were one of the holdouts that are still supporting IE 11 and your production apps, uh, don't upgrade to 2.0 because now you're going to have this issue because it doesn't work. I, I don't know if there's a way to get around that. I don't think there is. Uh, I, yeah, it just says that um, since Bootstrap has dropped IE 11, they decided to do the same. So I like this. You have all these new color palettes. I guess it used to have 10, and now we have up to 22 colors. I remember always, one thing I always do when I use Tailwind, I always create my own custom colors. Uh, I create a, my own custom color and put it inside the config file, but it's glad, I'm glad that they have more now. And they also added in an extra light 50 shade for every color. So if you look here, uh, I created this Tailwind CSS. If you go to play.tailwindcss.com, you can follow, uh, follow along. And so now you can see here, here's background green. Let's see here. Can you see this? Probably not very well here, like this button. If I do uh, text, green so you see here gray there's a 50 there's a hundred so now it starts at 50 and it goes all the way to 900 but they have all these new uh, red yellow green blue indigo purple pink light blue cyan so i mean there's lots of colors and lots of opacities so you can easily kind of go to a darker color which is really cool and oops that's my upgrade guide so they also have the palette even includes five different shades of gray now so you can even do like a blue gray if you want something really cool like a warm gray so you know once again we can look at bg gray because there's just more shades of gray um by the way down here is is my uh let's see here can't 
I'm actually too big here. Let's make it a little smaller. Yeah, here it is. I got two of them in here. It doesn't make sense. Let me delete this one. There you go. You can see here this down here, it's uh, that dark gray. So that's neat. You can also uh, we configure well balanced a color palette, but the complete color palette lives in the Tailwind CSS colors module that you can import at the top of your config file. So this config file right here, you can uh, make changes to it. Looks like that's definitely, this is a little bit different because now you have this colors. I don't know if that was in 1.0, but you can certainly make changes to it. Like you have gray, true gray, yellow, you can change it around. So now they've added this dark mode that you can add in. So if we click here, the dark mode docs, uh, you add in inside this media. So when you have this media strategy, it uses the preferred color screen media feature under the hood. So I believe that's uh, like a prefers color scheme is some OS, but you can change it to dark mode class, I believe. And then you could have it toggled on. So where is it? Yeah, if you could do toggle it to class. So if I go into my config here and okay, I just put it in here, dark mode class. And then we go back to HTML and then we have this dark here. I can then add in something like, uh, let's see here. So we put in the dark colon. So dark colon BG gray 800. So now I have this black background because I have this dark here. But if this class wasn't here, then it wouldn't be in there. So I could put in like, let's say it's background is red. 500 but when this dark class is here it turns into the to the black so you could do something you can even do that through javascript and toggle it on and off and have this dark class in here so that's kind of a neat feature some people have been wanting to do that and i believe this prefers color scheme is some sort of like os or, or something that that controls it but if you want to just toggle it you just change it to class i think that makes a lot of sense so that's, that's a neat new feature. So if you're really into dark mode, then yeah, take that. They also, um, they have better, they had a 2XL breakpoint. So that, that's kind of neat if you're like in super large screens, you can use 2XL to make the text a certain size. So that would be, um, so there's different breakpoints you can have. You can do like medium or large or XL, but now you have this 2XL, which you can see here is the minimum right here it's uh background color yeah so that's the background color there but this 2xl would break at 1536 pixels so this is kind of a neat thing if you have like huge monitors now you can use this different breakpoint within tailwind they have this new outline ring utilities which is you do this folk like this ring two so you can now how that outline property ignores border radius and pretty much always looks bad the ring utility are attempted with a better solution so that's kind of neat. I don't, I don't know. I don't run into that too often. Uh, there's a whole, they created some better util, uh, form styles. So if you want to require this Tailwind CSS forms, you can have this new um, forms plugin that uh, works pretty well, but I won't look into that. Now they're also saying that now when you use these different font sizes, it also adds a line height. So it's like one RAM, 1.25 RAM, 1.7. So that's kind of a nice little feature if you're using these different uh, font sizes so like in here if i have like an h3 high and i'm closing it and now i can i've put um text like 3xl you can see right there um it adds a font size 1.875 rem and a line height of 2.25 rem so it adds this new line height like uh right here like right here this is the one we did 3xl so that's cool that they add that in there just a little bit um a little bit of, uh, of niceness. It just adds it in there for you. And uh, you can, um, so, so that's really neat. There's also extending spacing, typography, and opacity scales. So now you have like these 0.5 or 1.5. So if I wanna do, I don't know, a margin top here, I can do 0.5, 1.5, 2.5, 3.5, which is nice. Get a little bit, little bit of a smaller abstraction, or a little bit more I should say you could, so it can be a little bit more defined to what you want. Like this is 0.875 rem. Uh, here's the app add apply, which I was mentioning during the trailer. That's kind of neat. So if I wanted to take this and I wanted to add it in here, I can create my own button class. I can add my add apply and then just list every single 
uh, Tailwind CSS utility class in here. And in the past, you couldn't actually add in one started with focus or dark. You had to create separate classes for it like this. But now you can just add it all in one apply here, which is really cool. So that's really cool that you can kind of add in these hovers and everything to your apply. Uh, so there's some text overflow utilities, but now you can do overflow, overflow ellipsis, overflow clip. You can also extend variants. You can do group hover and focus within by defaults. You can even do default transitions and duration easing curves, and then it has incompatibility I11. So that's a quick overview of all the new features in this new Tailwind 2.0. Let me know which feature you guys like the most. Leave a comment below. Thanks.